What up, YouTube? It's your boy, ABC Delicious. I'm back yet again with another video. As you can tell from the stellar quality, my man Big Mark is not in the building. More importantly, I don't have access to his camera. So yet again, I'm forced to shoot off my iPad Pro. Apple, if you're out there listening, your boy still needs a sponsor. Feel free to hit me up. I would love free stuff. I would embrace it. I would bathe in it. So I have a treat for you guys today. I saw a great movie the other night on its opening night. Do you guys have any idea what movie I'm talking about? Would you like to guess? Cue the crickets. Anyway, I saw Deadpool 2. Now I thought overall it was a really good movie. Basically, if you've seen the first one, you know the rhythm and the beats. I would say it's bigger, bolder, and tries to be more audacious. And as cliche as this sounds, this is definitely the role that Ryan Reynolds was born to play. He's very sarcastic, self-deprecating, and basically likes to thumb his nose at everybody and anybody. Nobody is safe. He gives it to other Marvel properties. If you watch the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. He'll make fun of DC, which I hate to say it because I'm a DC fan too. They definitely deserve it because their movies, the last, what, several years, have been nothing to write home about, except Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was really good. So besides that, how do I, how do I think about the, his co-stars? Josh Brolin did a really good job as Cable, as that conflicted guy from the future, no nonsense, takes everything seriously. And I gotta say, as a guy, no homo, but as a guy who's in his 50s or 60s, the dude was yoked. He was really big. Now, as someone who's a lot younger than Josh Brolin, I was really amazed at what lengths he had to do to get his body in shape for this role. Now, I'm assuming that's not CGI, and he must have been killing it at the gym every day and eating God knows what to get that body. He did a really good job. There was a kind of a portly guy. I think he played... Firestarter, forgive me, because I don't remember this guy in the comic books. He was okay, because usually when you think of superheroes and heroines, you don't think of fat people, and he even made a joke about it. The other guys in the movie, the Indian taxi guy, he had his moments. TJ Miller was funny. The blind black chick, I'm sorry, I'm not remembering your name. Who else? Oh, they also have X-Force in the movie, who, which is also a very underrated Marvel series, by the way. I know X-Men gets all the shine, but X-Force was pretty good back in the day. And I didn't really enjoy most of the characters in there, except Domino, who I'll get to in one second. So if Marvel plans to do a standalone X-Force movie in the future, hopefully they'll make it a lot better because I was not that impressed. So going back to Domino, she was really good in the movie, the, whoever the actress was that played her. Now, I'm gonna have to go back because it's been a minute, but according to the movie, her mutant power is basically she's very lucky. I feel like Longshot, for all you comic book nerds out there, had a similar power. So it was really dope because she was able to do a lot of stuff without it really trying. Like she was able to hijack certain stuff. She was able to fight Cable to a standstill just because of her purported mutant ability. Besides that, who else was in the movie? Oh, Colossus. The, that chick, I don't remember her name. And in this movie, she had a girlfriend, spoiler alert, a Japanese girl. And I always think it's funny, in the Deadpool series, whenever he goes to the X-Mansion, there should be like a bunch of people there, but there's nobody there except Colossus and this one girl. So I don't know if that's like supposed to be funny or they just can't afford to pay the other actors. So they also do a funny bit about that in the movie too. So overall, I thought the movie was really enjoyable. Um, it had enough to satisfy all you action goers out there, but it also was very sarcastic. And Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool, he liked to, I'm probably saying it wrong, I don't know if it's break the third wall or the fourth wall. He likes to wink at the audience, talk to the audience. And oh, besides making fun of Marvel and DC, even his co-stars are not safe. He was basically had some quips about Josh, Josh Brolin because, spoiler alert, cover your ears if you don't know this, because he's playing Th Thanos in there, that Deadpool had to ma make some references toward that. 
So overall, I thought the movie was pretty good, really funny. It even had some poignant moments in it because, you know, what are you gonna do with Deadpool? He's basically invulnerable, can't die. But in this movie, he was able to show off his sensitive side. In Chinese, we say mingan. Like I always say, like, what a mingan, and nobody believes me. So overall, at a scale of one to 10, I would say, I give it a probably about an eight. And I enjoyed it very much. Different, if you want me to compare to Avengers. Avengers was so badass on an epic level. But I did enjoy Deadpool, and it's kind of good on a standalone part. It's still in the Marvel Universe, but it's more irrelevant. And it can do more stuff and poke fun at areas that, you know, dare I say Marvel and DC doesn't dare to do. So, and guys, by the way, I know there's a lot of questions. Okay, there's no questions. But people are hoping I can do different stuff. I can delve into different topics. I plan to. And there are some ideas I have in the future. And it's a little bit harder to implement those ideas. Not to be a lazy guy, which I am. And I hope I can do that in the future. And just be patient with me as I grow this channel. And I do have a lot of exciting new stuff in the future. Anyway, until the next video, YouTube, peace.